Hi, I'm Lancelot Pinto. I'm a chest physician at the PD Hinduja Hospital uh, and the Hinduja Healthcare Hospital at Car uh, Bombay. I'm a respirologist by training and uh, an epidemiologist as well with a keen interest in tuberculosis. A 29-year-old lady was recently referred to me uh, by a gynecologist colleague with infertility. And this is a scenario that individuals working in the field of tuberculosis often encounter. I'm not an expert at infertility, and I'm sure the gynecologist did an excellent job of investigating the cause of the infertility. But often when no cause is found, it is assumed to be tuberculosis as being the offending agent. I have a couple of things to say about this. Firstly, tuberculosis as a cause of infertility is way less common than it's assumed to be or treated to be. People get put on empiric treatment very often uh, by gynecologists, assuming that TB could be a potential cause of this infertility and that a course of anti-tuberculous treatment would help. And this is not necessarily true. The other common fallacy is sending menstrual blood for in-house PCRs done by various labs across the country to look for TB uh, PCR, uh, to look for TB genes seen on the PCR. And this is definitely not the test of choice as there are a lot of false positives that are seen in such a test. The test of choice to figure out whether tuberculosis is a cause of infertility would be a biopsy of the endometrium and this is the gold standard for diagnosis of TB uh, as a cause of primary infertility. Once diagnosed, the treatment of TB in such a situation remains exactly the same as treatment of TB elsewhere in the body, which is two months of intensive treatment with isoniazid, rifampicin, ethambutol, and pyrazinamide, followed by four months of either isoniazid and rifampicin alone if it's a pan-susceptible strain, or isoniazid, rifampicin, and ethambutol if the susceptibility of the strain is unknown.